In this video, we are going to see how we will post custom metrics to CloudWatch. So first of all, we'll have to create an EC2 instance and then we'll write a script on the EC2 instance that will post custom metrics to CloudWatch. So first of all, we'll create an IAM role for the EC2 instance. So first of all, we'll create a policy for it. Create policy for the service select CloudWatch for the actions we want put metric data because we are going to post custom metrics all we need is put metric data for the script right now click on review policy We're going to create the policy and now we are going to create a role. So I'm going to click on roles, create a role. It will be type of EC2 because we are going to assign the role to our EC2 instance. Click on permissions. We'll find the policy. Click on review. And click on create role so now that we have our role created with the prop policy to put metric data we are going to launch an ec2 instance so we'll go to ec2 click on launch instance select the amazon one linux and in the configure instance type we'll select our role the put metric role we just created and rest all the settings will be default storage will be default tag would be we'll just name this instance so we can identify our instance security group it doesn't really matter we just need a security group that has ssh on it so i think i'll just select this one it has port 22 enabled and then we'll launch with our key pair. So now we have this instance launching and once it's ready, we will SSH onto the instance and work on our script to post matrix or post custom matrix to CloudWatch. So um, as I have SSH onto the instance. Now let's write our script to post matrix to CloudWatch. So I'm just going to name my script as post custom metric dot py. So it's a Python file. We are going to write a Python script in Boto. So over here, what I have done is we have initialized the client CloudWatch client uh, first of all we have imported Boto 3 but we'll have to install Boto 3 so we are going to look at that as well and we are going to generate a random value and we are going to post that random value every every minute to the CloudWatch matrix. So basically we are going to create our custom namespace. So over here, the command is client or CloudWatch dot put metric data. That's the function we are going to call with the metric name. So the name of the metric will be ops metric. That's the custom metric it will create. And the namespace is ops namespace. So that's the custom namespace it will create and it will post uh data to this namespace with this metric name and then we have the dimension instance name with value and i've just picked up a random value over here or uh, written a random value but you can get the instance name and stick it here assign it to the value and post it that way and the actual unit is none but 
you can have different units you can look up the put metric data documentation and see what units are available like some sample there are a ton of them a lot of them and we'll look at the documentation and the value will be the actual random value that will be generated between 1 to 101 and so that would be actually posted as a custom metric so once that's done let's install boto3 first i'm going to save this file once it's saved let's install boto3 So now we have inst so now our Boto3 is installed and basically Boto3 is a Python library that lets you interact with AWS and now it's installed. Now let's uh, write our cron task which will post custom metric to CloudWatch every minute. So it will invoke the script that we wrote every minute, generate a random number and post it inside our custom namespace and custom metric. Um, so I'm going to create a cron tab entry. So I'm going to write cron tab dash e. And over here, I'm going to paste So this will invoke every minute this command Python and name of our file. So this script will be run every minute. Once that's done, now it will start posting a random number to our custom metric every minute. So let's go to CloudWatch. So now let's go to CloudWatch and see what happened. So if you go to CloudWatch and go to metrics, you'll see our ops namespace namespace is created so our, this is our custom namespace that we had provided in our boto script so that's created it has our dimension the instance name that we had provided as dimension in our script this instance id is another thing i was testing so the instance name dimension is created and it has the value the instance id that we had posted and here's our metric name, the ops metric. So the data has been posted and you can see over here, if you go to the graph matrix, you can change the period to one minute and duration to one hour. And now you can see that at 155 UTC, a random value that we had posted, the generated value was 98. At 156, 40 was posted. So you can see the values that we had posted with our cron expression at what time and what value was posted over us. So you see where we are getting here. You could, instead of the random value, you could have extracted memory utilization of the server at that moment and posted it, posted that. Or you could have extracted or somehow got gotten the disk utilization and posted that. So that's how you create custom metrics and post custom metrics because CloudWatch doesn't provide memory utilization by default. So that's how you can create one or there are already sample scripts available. So that's how you use custom metrics. If you go to the Boto3 documentation of CloudWatch, there's a put metric data function. And here is the documentation, the syntax required, it requires namespace then the metric data uh, and in that you have the units in our case it was none but you could have count or seconds or megabytes and there are different units available you can also post time sp timestamp like at which time this metric was generated uh, there are dimensions so this is like the doc documentation for the command put metric data so that's 